dirty. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. Wanna... Hello everyone, Frosty Knives here, and I would like to give you an update on my Transformers collection. And boy, do I love consignment shops. I love thrift shops. I love yard sales. I love garage sales. I love anywhere at any place where I can find Transformers on the cheap. And uh, this must be my lucky month because as you'll know in my previous video, I purchased a $30 ba box of Transformers off of somebody on Craigslist. Well, I went through the box and took out the Transformers and uh, went out and sold the rest of the swag that was in the box, which, if you'll remember, uh, was uh, an entire box full of Bionicles and Power Rangers and various other things. So I took the box down to a consignment shop and I sold what was left and I made... 18 bucks on the swag. Remember, I played 30 bucks for the box. I made 18 bucks on the swag. So really, I, I walked away with a $12 box of Transformers. And then I was able to turn around and take that $18 and buy more stuff. So there's a place down the road uh, from my house. Uh, it's called Once Upon a Child. It is a, a national... Uh, children's clothing and uh, toy reseller. Uh, this company is based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and all of the stores are owner-operated and owned, much like uh, Subway. So these are franchise stores that people can go to the corporation, buy the store, buy the rights to the store, and they can operate and run their own little once upon a child. And uh, they sell uh, they're a resale shop, so they sell clothes, toys, uh, books, DVDs, music, um, shoes, and whatnot, uh, baby equipment, uh, bassinets, um, play pens, and all this stuff. So I took my swag down to there, and I um, took my swag down, and they gave me $18 for it, and I'm walking to the store, and... Uh, I happen to see they, they bag all of all of their loose toys. They bag. Um, they'll take a lot and they'll bag them together as a lot. And I'm walking through the store, just happen to be poking around. And I see I walk by what I thought was a bag of Legos. And then I looked a little closer and I noticed that there was a transformer in the, in the bag. And I know they don't mix their lots. The Legos stay with the Legos and the transformers stay with the transformers and the bionicles. Stay with the Bionicles. So I picked it up, and lo and behold, it was a bag of Transformers. And it's a really heavy bag. There's at least three pieces in there that I could see because I didn't want to ask them if I could open it. There was at least three pieces in there that I could see that I didn't have. They were mostly newer figures from the movie lines, and they were selling it for $18. You can't go wrong with that. So, being me, I bought it. And here it is. My giant bag of Transformers. And I haven't opened it yet because much like the box, I just found out that one of my Transformers talks. Oh yeah, I'm a happy nerd right now. Uh, much like the other buy, the, the box, we're going to open this on, on, on the, on the interweb. So as you can see, once upon a child, this is where I purchased this from. And I've got my handy dandy scissors and we're going to just, we're going to tear into this right now because we're going to see what we've got here. And here it is, folks. There it is. Once upon a child, Transformers lot for $18. And I know there's at least... Three Transformers in this bag that I don't have, and I think there's a whole lot more. So, we're just going to start pulling. Okay, so let's see. This is what, this is what, ooh, this guy is nice. This is what drew me. So, I looked down, and I thought it was a bag of, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straighten out his limbs here, folks. I found it was a bag, I thought it was a bag of Legos, until I saw this guy. And I knew 
that this was Starscream's head. And I said, that can't be a bag of Legos because that's Starscream's head. And lo and behold, here it is. So here's the first Transformer in the box. And boy, is this a nice one. It's from the movie. And this is Transformers, I believe. Let me look at the date. 2009. I'm going to guess this is from Revenge of the Fallen. But this is a Transformers Starscream. This is what 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 caught me caught my eye. I looked at the box and I said, "Hey, I know that head. That's not a Transformer. That's Starscream." And this um, this is a much bigger figure than the Starscream that I own. The Starscream that I own came from the first line, and it was much smaller. And he didn't have hands. He had uh, uh, guns that would rotate. Uh, so he didn't actually have any hands. So I'm happy to get a Starscream that actually has hands. And this fellow is extremely nice. Um, I was not a big fan at the time of the, mo of the movie figures. Boy, was I wrong. Because this guy looks awesome. And as you can listen, um, you hear that? His joints... Are, are ratcheted. Let me see the other ones. And they're, they're still, they're, they're, they, this figure feels like it's hardly been played with. So here we have a star screen that stands about, I don't know, what was that? Eight, nine, ten inches tall. Much bigger than the one that I have. Um, I'm going to put them on this table over here. So that's the first one. Uh, at retail cost, look at his head sculpt. That is an awesome head sculpt. Um, and, and this is a different sculpt. He still turns into the F-22 Raptor. But as you can see, he's got some, he's got a nice paint scheme. Um, looks like there's some, there may be some, yep, right here on his legs. There's some Cybertronian writing on his legs. Um, so this is a great find. This retail for about $25 to $30 in, in, in the store. This was a, the bigger class of, of, of Transformer from the, uh, I believe it was Revenge of the Fallen movie line. But there's number one, folks. We're going to put him over here. And, uh, oh, I did I discovered a flaw. It's a small flaw, um, judging by, as you, let me show you what I discovered. See his feet? Um, whoopsie. So that foot has two toes. That foot has one. So he's missing a toe. Um, you know, I'm not really going to hold it against him. He may be missing missiles as well, but I'm, I'm not really going to hold that against him. As long as he can still stand, which I'm going to show right now. Yes, he can. He can still stand. Um, he's, he's always been top heavy, but there he is. So let's see what else is in here. Um, I don't know where to begin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can pull these out. No, that goes with something. They all go with something, right? Um, let me see if I can figure out what goes with what here. Because they look like they just kind of threw it in a box. And I can tell by the wheels that this is going to be an Optimus Prime. And it is. And does he have a head? Oh, he's got electronics. Um, he has a head. How do I get his head out? Do I fold? Do I, what do I do here? Does this flip up? Does this flip up? Does this flip out? I don't know. Um, does he have hands? Oh, he's got hands. He hasn't been transformed properly. So let me go ahead and pull his hands out. So you'll get a look at what he might look like in robot mode. I'm gonna pull his hands out. I'm going to rotate his, his, his legs. This is very nicely. It hasn't been played with very much. Um, I don't even know if the wheel, I'm going to have to look all these figures up as far as how this stuff transforms. Cause this looks like I'm, and I'm just, I'm just guessing by the, the look that this is not transformed properly. So I'm going to try to get him. Uh, here's Optimus Prime, and I'm going to try to get him into a mode, or at least transformed well, that you can kind of see what he looks like. Um, there's his knees, and these, these, I got joints flopping all over the place over here. Does this, do those, oh, these are supposed to peg in. His arms are supposed to peg in, they kind of fell out. Um... He has a head, folks, and I'm trying. 
I'm trying to figure out how his head comes out. But anyway, so this this looks like this is a this is a prime, and it's a blue painted prime. And uh, you now here's his arms, which is supposed to peg in. Peg them in, just like that. This arm doesn't want to stay, so his left arm doesn't want to stay. And see, he's got like I say, I don't think is this. I don't think this is transformed properly because I got bits all over the place. But he's very loose. You know, I've got like his wheels are on the back here. And I don't know if they're supposed to go like that or how they're supposed to go. Maybe they're supposed to go like that. Oh, I think I figured it out. I think the wheels are supposed to to talk like that. Um, does this go? No. So this must go like this. So near as I can figure so far, I got, I've got him partially figured out here. Here is Optimus Prime, and he's got, um, he's a blue, he's a blue, um, blue truck. So uh, there's his arms, there's his cab. He does have a head. His head is in here, and I'm I'm trying to figure out how to to get his head out. But you can see how his his legs here are the the there's the cab. This is what he looks like from the back. This is all kind of floppy here, right here. So I'm gonna have to kind of research this guy and figure out how how he goes. Um, that button that you kept hearing, there's a button on the top. If you look on the top, there's a button right here. And I thought maybe if I pressed on it. You know, his head would, would be spring-loaded. No, he's got lights and sounds. Yeah. How cool is that? And if I could just figure out how to get his head out, because a lot of times these guys will have like a lever or a slide or, you know, something that spring-loads a head. Maybe if I, his chest plate appears to open. All right, I did it. So basically, it, it is it is the the um, all right. So let's see what it is. So there's a a lever. I'm gonna try to get it. There's a lever here on his chest. See this little gray piece? If you pull it down, his head pops open, lights flash, and his head springs up and everything else. So um, that's a really nice feature. I know he's transformed incorrectly. Um, I know he is, so I'm going to have to work on this guy, but here is an Optimus Prime with lights and sound, and I don't even know what this would have retailed for, but, you know, this guy is very nice. It looks like he might be missing, there's some ball joints here on the shoulders that look like there's, there should be something here on the ball joints, probably pieces of the truck, but, uh, once I figure out this fellow... Um, he'll he'll probably be a nice piece to the collection. So we're so so far I got two transformers that are probably worth uh, at retail. They probably retailed for twenty five bucks a piece. What are we up to? Fifty dollars. Hold on a second. I'm gonna check. My computer keeps wanting to restart. There must be some updates. So we're gonna fix that right now. All right, next in the next in the bag. Um, oh, I know who this is. So I'm not sure he's complete, but let me let me um, try to get. I'm gonna get his feet, sort of fixed here because I think these are these are his feet and this is an arm that's supposed to peg like that and then this is another arm okay so this guy comes from the Transformers Cybertron or Galaxy Force line and I believe his name is Quick switch, a uh, quick, quick mix. Um, he's a, he's a mixer. 
And here he is right here. So, you know, that's not too shabby. There's um, generally you can tell what line they're from. This is from the Cybertron line. And if you didn't know, uh, if you look on his chest, see there's uh, a peg here and a peg here. No, I did not touch his robot nipples. Uh, that's where Minicons would peg onto him. He's also got a Minicon peg right here on that side. And he has, uh, looks like he's got a missile there. And on the back right here, there's the place for the Cyber Planet key, which would activate his gimmick. Um, so he can hold a couple Minicons. Um, one, two, three Minicons. I'm not sure if he's complete or not, but I gotta go look on my. I have uh, pictures of this fellow in my product catalog from some other things. So that's who he is. Um, and he doesn't look too bad. I know he would have come with a Minicon himself. The big vehicles all came with their own Minicons. So he's probably not in the bag. But uh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's the other one that I saw through the bag that I thought was, was kind of neat. He's got. Um, some neat little missiles and whatnot. Oh, he's got another Minicon. So he's got four Minicons. He can hold four Minicons. One, two, one on each of his, on the chest, four. So he's got four Minicon spots, which would power him up. So I'm going to have to look at all of these for how to transform them, just like I did with the box ones. But I believe his name is Quick Mix or something along those lines. So we're going to put him right here. Stands up really nicely. And, you know, I think there's only four in the box because I think this last piece, yes, I'm right. This is, oh, this is a big honking one. Uh, um, boy, all these new figures, we're going to have to figure out how these things transform because, my God. There are pieces and parts flying everywhere on this guy, but it's another prime and it's another movie prime. And I'm just going to, I'm going to try to organize them a little bit here so I can get them to show you. I can show you. I don't know if this backpack is supposed to fold out. Well, I guess it is. This is the guy who made noise when I moved the bag. Um, and he's, I know you're Optimus Prime. You don't have to tell me. Um, I know who you are. Boy, there's pieces everywhere on this, on this guy. It's, 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 it's hard to, to get figures like this because especially the new line, because they're so, their, their, their transformation is so, uh, and a lot of times it's so ridiculous that when you get them and they're all like this and they're all. I know his arms fold up and peg up. His transformation is so ridiculous. I know you're Optimus Prime. You don't have to keep telling me. This is from, I can tell simply by the fact that he's got spring-loaded arms, uh, missiles on his arms, that this is, I believe, the Dark of the Moon, Optimus Prime. And I'm, I'm just trying to get him into a position where I can show you what he looks like. Um, these together I know they do I want his feet clipped together there we go peg them together um, so again this is a guy that I am gonna have to figure out exactly how he transforms but this is the dark of the moon Optimus Prime And this was one of the larger figures. And as you can see, as I keep fiddling with him, he talks. He keeps telling you that. So here is Optimus Prime. And see how he comes with these blades? That's how I know that he, and these, bra these blades look like they, they're spring-loaded of some sort. That they probably, does this go over his arms? They must go, they must go over his arms. You know what? They look cool, so I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them that way. Um. So here 
And these, I think you think these, these would peg because these have peg holes. These, these sections on his, on his feet. But anyway, so here is Optimus Prime, which I believe is from uh, Dark of the Moon because he has these, these, uh, these blades. These are the blades that he fought Megatron with in the movie. These are the blades that he killed uh, Sentinel Prime with. So I believe this is this would have been like the Ultra Deluxe Class Optimus Prime from the movie. Now, I know he talks. I'm going to find the button that makes him talk because every time I moved him around, he talked. So where's the button that makes you talk? You were talking before. Do I push on your head? Do I? No, let me see. I know there's got to be a button around here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Where did you go? Mm -hmm. Now he doesn't want to talk. Now I couldn't shut him up before. Now he doesn't want to talk. So somewhere on here, this is the ha the problem when you get new figures. You got to start without instructions. Is you got to start you got to start learning where the heck everything goes. So he says, as you heard, I, I believe it picked it up. He says, "I am Optimus Prime." I couldn't tell if there were lights. Let me let me let me do something here. Let me move my my computer back. I don't know what I was hitting to make him talk, but I was hitting something. I kept squeezing something, and it. It would have made him made him talk and say, "I am." Uh, okay, so I guess when you push his head back, he talks. And so there you go with lights and sound. Um, and apparently that's all he says. But this is the electronic Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon, and. Um, once I figure out how all of these guys transform, that th these would be an awesome. For he doesn't look like he's really missing anything, because um, these weapons probably just fold up and peg in or whatever. So there he is. I am Optimus Prime. Uh, nice to meet you. Here, I'll shake your hand. So for eighteen dollars, folks. That's what I got, and they are all um, giant figures. I got four figures for $18. Let's do the head count. Starscream, let's do the head count, folks. $25 to $30. I wonder if this guy is electronic like everybody else. I would have, I would have expected this guy to be electronic. $25 to $30. Retail, $25 to $30. Retail, $60. Bucks. That's why this bag was so heavy, because these guys are big hogging classes. Um, $60 bucks total, $20. Bucks. Here, this guy probably retail for $19.99. $60, $80. And this fellow right here, which is the most expensive one of the lot, uh, would have been in the forty to fifty dollar range. So conservatively, that's a hundred dollars of transformers at retail that I picked up for eighteen dollars. Yeah, you're all jealous, aren't you? Um. And these are all figures that are probably 12-inch tall figures. I mean, these things are huge. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a picture of them on at the end of the video, all standing together so you can see. But um, so, you know, when you're – here's a tip, guys. When you're hunting for toys and collectibles, go everywhere. You know, anywhere that you even think that they sell toys, it doesn't matter, go there. Uh, you know, everybody goes to the Walmarts and the Toys R Us's and the Kmart's and those places. But people don't think to think of places like TJ Maxx, Rite Aid, CVS, Once Upon a Child, consignment shops. Find the consignment shops in your area. Find the thrift stores. Look for the yard sales. Make friends with Craigslist. This is where you're going to find the good stuff without paying ridiculous aftermarket collectible prices. 
So, I'm going to go figure out how to transform these guys. I got four of them, and they're big. And uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting. Well, to be a tech savvy savage, but I'll bet my leads and beat could make the sound waves ravage. This is beach talk. You little squawk box rappers are way below average. Motherfuckers sound like parrots over killing that swag shit. Come rubble with gorillas who are slug fest habits. You're a cabbage head metaphor running out empty. I'm a giant bus sauce, so it's best to not take me. Killing spree frenzy, metal T Rex teeth. My Jaguar son be blazing hot all day. I stay riding angelic like the angel Michael. Keep it rap backs at bay on a demon motorcycle. My past like title was the Black Templar Severing heads with a giant scimitar I was cutting red feathers off an evil white man It's a wig thing, baby, yo, you wouldn't understand Understand I'm in the hood, like Spanish mechanics Working on sidewalks, damage from above Whenever I skywalk, don't even try and talk Cause you were at a disadvantage Before I could walk the Thundercracker Snapping planets in half, we the dirge of black rappers Old school boombox, ghetto sound blaster Rock steady, bebop, your hearts beat faster It's your souls we're after when we all spark The stars scream faster, the collection masters With big sky blasters, got them caught in a slipstream Didn't realize they pushed us harder to get green Yeah, we transform smiles to evil looks without flinching There's more than meets the eye when you start nerve pinching We transform smiles to evil looks without flinching There's more than meets the eye when you start nerve pinching What?